Are you ready for some real American death metal? Well, if you are, get yourself prepared for Ushuarium for Portland, Oregon. Now, this band is not a very old one, and this is actually their debut one called A Living Tomb, but let's say this much. This band is pretty goddamn ready to uh, conquer the world with their kind of old schoolish death metal. Here we don't have modern sound, modern fast pace, death metal with technicality, all kind of flirting with death metal, uh, sorry, black metal and all that stuff, but more kind of a slow paced, mid tempo ish, pounding, uh, bone breaking mentality that is delivered you with, you know, bass guitar, crawling vocals, and all that stuff. Um, to be honest, um, I was positively surprised by a living tomb as it actually reminded me of early ball thrower, maybe two first albums. The thing is, these are not reinventing the wheel, but more like putting the wheel into proper use. That is kind of a no hipster stuff here, but the real deal. Um, this basically, I could conclude just my review right here because I mean there is basically not much more to say about this stuff. I mean, uh, Osirim is kind of a nice throwback feeling type of an uh, band that is kind of like removed all the gimmicks, putting the actual death metal right into the middle of the focus. And as such, I think it's quite refreshing, to be honest. Now, so many bands these days, especially in the uh, fields of nowadays death metal, they're either, you know, flirting with uh, different kind of genres, so end up creating kind of a hybrid kind of a thing uh, that is often flirting with black metal and not as such creating pure death metal. Also, uh, some uh, albums or some bands are trying to add layers of technicality where all kind of a weird twists and turns which not that uh common commonly works so well for the band what i'm trying to say here that is i'm kind of like missing the days when death metal was just death metal now Osirim is actually really uh great to deliver that blow that is the very basic stuff there is no uh you know speedy parts just for the sake of them. There are no weird instruments or clean vocals and all that stuff. Surely you have uh, some semi-acoustic parts here and there, but just, you know, to give this kind of a hint of uh, seasoning, so to speak. Also some guitar solos, lead, whatever. They are there, you know, in order to uh, make this kind of a more diverse in a way, but never going out of the boundaries. So one could say it's a little bit boring in that sense, but I must disagree. I think it's quite fascinating that sometimes, you know, the very basic stuff gets done. It's like a good steak with just salt and pepper. You don't need necessarily anything else beyond that. If you need, then this might not be your cup of tea. This is very, very uh, different than any kind of hipster stuff out there. This is not anything new and it's good. Sometimes people uh, mistake that if I'm commenting an album or band that they lack originality. They are taking it a uh, kind of a negative way, which on the contrary means usually a positive thing. I mean, if I want a black metal album to be kind of a peer or a death metal album to be kind of, a, you know, bowing to, that, bowing to uh, the very basics, the, the pure idea of what that is. Well, I'm kind of happy with that. So, by no means, uh, lack of originality here means anything negative. It's a good thing. This is for real death metal heads and nobody else. So, Osuarium, Living Tomb. Check out it if you think you are a death metal head. If not, then move on and check out the next review. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.